For the C2Br4 Lewis structure, carbon has four valence electrons, we have two carbons, and bromine has seven, and we have four bromines for a total of 36 valence electrons for the C2Br4 Lewis structure. Since carbon is less electronegative than bromine, we'll put the two carbons in the center, and then we'll put the bromines around it. So we have 36 valence electrons for C2Br4. We'll put two between atoms to form chemical bonds. We've used 10 valence electrons. Then we'll go around the bromines to complete their octets or until we run out of valence electrons. So we have 10, 12, and 34. And then we'll put the remaining two here in the center on a carbon, 36. You can see that all the bromine atoms have eight valence electrons, so their outer shells are full. The carbon on the right, it also has eight, but the carbon on the left only has six valence electrons. We can take these two valence electrons here from the carbon and move them between carbons to form a double bond. Now the carbon on the right still has eight valence electrons, but the carbon on the left has eight valence electrons as well. And we're still using the 36 valence electrons we have for the C2Br4 Lewis structure. So that's it. We've used all our valence electrons. Each of the atoms has an octet. That's the Lewis structure for C2Br4, and this is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.